Hey guys, we're back. This is EG here, and um, now we're looking for the demon compass. Yay. Really boring, huh? Oh, you can't fit through there, you idiot, even though it looks like you can. And, well, I don't know, why would they make it look like there's an opening there when you can't get through it? That just doesn't make too much sense. Chasing me. S screw it, I'm fighting. Yeah. Take my spirit gun. If any of you think the spirit gun's cool, wait till you get the next move. levels that are really annoying, but it's like the next ones that actually are when you actually fight bosses and stuff. The level after this, you'll fight your, like, first, what I like to call, true boss. Because the only other bosses you had was the one dude who just stood there. Or the, the spirit egg that hatched in the first one, which really wasn't too much of a boss, since he wasn't really much of a character. Or whatever you want to call it. I like to consider bosses who actually, you know, have a point for attacking you, not just being random. Heh, <laughs> just running into a wall for a second. I actually did a run through of this. I did a run through of this before I started recording. And I the dude was running into the wall the whole time. It was so funny. I just stood there and he kept on running. Ooh, demon compass. Compass now has ability to track demons. It will lead you to the area where the demon is located in flash red when you're near it. So, come. So, you know, the last level where, you know, I fought the one dude that didn't count? I mean, of course, he was our main enemy, but still, come on. It flashed red when we were near him. Then again, it flashed red when that little kid was bouncing his ball and. Wait a second. Maybe that little kid's a demon. Hmm. I'll have to look into that. That's it. The little kid was a demon. It's all his fault I died, and now I'm back to life and have cool superpowers, but still, that's besides the point. Woo! Health and a spirit bottle. Wow, that's actually pretty rare to get. It's kind of cool how they actually drop health things for you if you're low. It's really annoying sometimes when certain games don't do that for you. They let you freaking starve. It just, ah. Uh, it's infuriating, and then you die, and then it's just, ah. Uh, you can't stand it anymore. And then you stop playing. I went over there. Okay. Let's continue on. Oop. There's our guy. Right there. Yay, level complete. I'm actually continuing on to the next one, which I don't know why I'm not... Oh, this is where I was deciding if I was going to continue on to the next one or not in the recording, and I decided to do it. Which sucks, because I kind of went to 12 minutes, which is just, you know, only about a few over 10, so it just sucks that I couldn't get the whole thing through. In one go. Hey, I need my head. Looks beautiful. Easy. Alright, I win. Okay, 
Okay, in that picture I actually look 14. Yusuke, he looked 14 in that one. Oh shit, he's still alive. This isn't out of sync, I was just pointing out the obvious. Yeah, our first boss fight. Yeah. This guy isn't too hard. He's Look, he's pretty much a pushover. I didn't want to kill him right away, though, because that'd be rude. Oh yeah, at this point I was actually using my keyboard because I wasn't going to use the PC controller anymore, so I had to get used to holding R and A to hit him. Yay, we won! Take that, you stupid demon. Try and eat children's souls. I don't mean their shoes, either. <laughs> Use case scared. Yeah. Well, alright, guys. Um, at the end of this one, uh, this is EG signing out.